Feeding today's population is a challenge for an already stressed environment. Experts project that the world's population will grow from 7 billion people today to 9 billion over the next 30 years. Nancy Morgan is the Food and Agriculture Organization's liaison to the World Bank. Basically, meat production and consumption we will need to double by the year, by the year 2050. The FAO says there are currently 1.5 billion head of cattle, 1 billion pigs, and 6 billion chickens in the world. In the U.S. alone, millions of these and other animals are killed every year for food. Morgan says over the past decade, worldwide consumption and production of meat grew faster than any other commodity. The challenge is how do you ensure food without, without increasing animal numbers and having an impact on fragile lands and, and our resource base? More than half of the agricultural land in the world is used to raise and feed livestock. Those farm animals are also responsible for 18% of the greenhouse gases released into the atmosphere every year, methane emissions that scientists say are warming the Earth's climate. The World Preservation Foundation, a private environmental group, recently published a report on ways to slow that climate change. It focuses on reducing livestock populations. The group says it is especially concerned about widespread forest burning to clear land for cattle operations, as seen in these fires in Brazil's Amazon forest region. Gerard Wetterburn Bishop is the foundation's executive director. Fire for pasture maintenance and fire for deforestation are our targets. For methane, by far the greatest source is livestock agriculture. The World Preservation Foundation wants governments to stop subsidizing meat and dairy production. Meat and dairy consumption has helped to push global warming to tipping points. It is driving massive environmental destruction and pollution and is killing us with diabetes, heart disease and cancers. But in many rural areas, people depend on animals for food and income. A reduction in global livestock production is improbable, says Jerry Hatfield, Director of Agriculture and the Environment at the U.S. Department of Agriculture. We actually have more pasture and range land when we do arable land, that, or land that we put into cultivation. He says research centers are looking at ways to make food animal operations more efficient while also protecting the environment. I, I think that you know, it's all about a balance, and I don't think that we've done a very good job. Experts agree that the next few decades will present a puzzle, how to feed 9 billion people without wrecking the planet in the process. This is Sulima Palacio, VOA News.